We've had a look at the process of pollination. Let's now take a look at the process of fertilization and what it is, how fruits and seeds are formed, and what happens during the process of germination. Fertilization is a fusion of male and female gametes to produce a zygote. Seeds and fruits are formed when the ovary of a flower and the ovules develop and grow bigger into fruits or seeds. Germination of seeds takes place through the process called germination where a seed develops into a seedling and the seedling grows into a plant. Fertilization. This is the process when the male gamete fuses with the female gamete to form a zygote. When a pollen grain falls on the stigma of a flower, it bursts open and grows a pollen tube downwards into the style of the flower towards the female gamete in the ovary. This pollen tube enters the ovule in the ovary. The pollen tube bursts releasing the male gamete which moves down the pollen tube and fuses with the female gamete. The male gamete of pollen combines with the nucleus of the female gamete in the ovule to form a fertilized egg called a zygote. How are fruits and seeds formed? Once a zygote is formed, it divides repeatedly to form an embryo within the ovule. This ovule gradually develops a tough coat over it and is converted into a seed containing the baby plant. This process happens to all the ovules. After fertilization, they all get converted and turn into seeds. The ovary develops into a fruit with seeds inside it. Other parts of the flower like the sepals, petals, stamens, stigma and style all dry up and fall off. The fruit protects the seeds inside it. Some fruits are fleshy and soft and juicy like mangoes, oranges, kiwi while others are hard and nutty and have a tough protective coating around them like almonds, walnuts, peanuts. These are just some examples. Germination of seeds takes place when the seeds are actually provided with water, air and warmth or till a period of time when they receive these elements. During that stage, they lie dormant or they are said to be inactive. The three elements mentioned, water, air, and warmth, once provided, help the seed to develop into a seedling, which in turn develops into a plant. This process or stages through which the seed goes from its dormant stage to a seedling and into a plant is called germination. We will have a look at the structure of the seed. We look at it internally and externally. Externally, the tester, called the seed coat, helps protect the seed from damage. The micropyle is a fine tiny pore that is used to take in water from its surroundings. The hilum is that part of the seed that attaches it inside a pod of a plant. The cotyledon stores the food within the seed whereas the plumule develops into the shoot and the radical develops into the root. Take a look at the diagram showing you the different parts of the seed. We have the test of the seed coat, the plumule and the shoot. All the others we've mentioned, look at the stages in germination where the seed in A is underground and gradually after moisture, air, Warmth is provided, it develops plumules and then moves further to develop roots and as a result it gradually grows and starts developing into a plant. I hope you have enjoyed the presentations. If you'd like to see more presentations, you can always visit us on our website at www.arrangeacademy.com. Furthermore, for a subscription, you could always check us out on Facebook 
at www.facebook.com slash Academy. You can subscribe to us also on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash Academy. Thank you.